Hello! Before I'm going to talk about this week's topic, I'm just going to say that I have four guinea pigs. So if there's any background noise, it's because of that. I just bought a new guinea pig. So they're kind of noisy at the moment. But it won't stop me from making this video about this week's topic, and that is dads and our relationship with our dad, and if we want to become a dad, and our, our feelings about that, and dad daddy -o. To start it off, my relationship with my dad is brilliant, fantastic, and I love him so much. He's always been there for me. He, uh, when I was a little little kid, when I, just when I was born, my mom got sick. And he took care of me. So we bonded a lot at that time and as I grew up we just kept that bond. He, he's always been my my rock. Um, if I had any problems I, I would talk I would uh, talk to him about it and I, and I was so proud of having him as my dad. And I'm still proud. He's an awesome dad and a great man. And I can't imagine having a better dad than the one I have. But that's always a but. My parents got divorced when I was about 10 years old and uh, my stepmom and my mom, my stepmom is my married to my dad, they didn't really like me very much. My mom and stepmom wanted me to become more feminine and they disliked the clothes I wore and my haircuts and basically they just didn't like me. And my dad didn't really do anything about it. They were really, really mean to me, and he didn't stop them. He 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 did still sent me over to my mom. I had to be there a couple of days, every second week, and he didn't stop my stepmom when she was yelling at me, and that really hurt. He so he's a he's a bit of a wimp. He doesn't like conflict, and. It has been really difficult living with that because on the one side he's been amazing dad. He just he always made sure I had what I needed without spoiling me. He he learned learned me taught me that what's money worth. He taught me that you have to work hard to get stuff and but at the same time if I really needed his help he was always there no matter what. And so he's been a he's been a great great dad. And at the same time, he just really let me down when I really needed him. With my mom and my stepmom and the way they treated me, he didn't really stop them, sadly. He really tried to do his best to make everyone happy and that's it, it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes you just have to take the conflict and say, no, it doesn't work like this. And he never did. And that's his biggest flaw. I want to become a dad one day. When I was a lesbian, I was just like, oh, my girlfriend will give birth to the children. I want three kids and you just have to give birth to them. I'm never going to get pregnant because I don't want anything with that and stuff like that. I've always just seen myself more like the, the supporter. I've just seen myself in a, if I had a girlfriend, who was pregnant, I always saw myself the, the the strong, patient person that would take care of my wife or girlfriend and helping them giving birth. And that is what, what men do when their wife is giving birth. They are supporters, they are patient, they are yelled at, their hands are crushed when they give birth to the child and they just really have to go, go through a lot of crap. And I always just... Imagine that I would have easier handling that than actually being pregnant. And now, as a trans man, I know that I'm not going to give birth. That would, for me, it would be, for me, it would be weird because men doesn't give birth, and if trans men give birth, it's totally okay with me. Do what you want, but for me, it wouldn't feel right, and it didn't feel right when it was I. I I identified as a woman, woman, and now it really doesn't would be comfortable. But I do want to give my genes to my children um, and my last name. But you can always just do that. So I I could hope that my eggs could be stored and then used later on. But if it didn't happen, 
then I guess that would be okay too. So it would, I would be like insemination. I would pick that. And um, I was actually made as a test tube baby. My parents couldn't get pregnant. And my dad is my dad, my mom is my mom, but they made me in a test tube and created me. So the whole thing about insemination and help from the medical world to get a child is like, I'm, I like that because that's the reason why I'm here. Will I be a good dad? I hope I'll be like my own dad. I hope I'll be patient and kind and friendly and firm and never yell at my children and always making them laugh and teaching them how to be a good person. I really hope I'll be as good a dad as my dad was and is. But I also hope that I'll be a bit better with conflicts and not just be a wimp. But I probably will be because I don't like conflicts, especially not if I have a girlfriend. I, I will not always understand what my children are up to, but I'll just let them do it anyway because they'll probably learn from it. And I think that's my dad's. He's just raised me like that too. He's just been patient. He knows that the hair color and the piercings and the whatever, he will go away again. And if it doesn't, well, then it's my life. And he maybe doesn't understand it, but he'll just accept it. And I, I think that's the most important thing a parent can do. Just accept their children as they are. Maybe not understand it, but just accept it instead of yelling at them. That was all I had.